Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to go through some hacks that I have for you oily skin gals. Um, so if you'd like to see what my tips and tricks are, then just keep on watching. Okay, I'm going to have to keep this like super short, if I can, because it is literally so hot. It's like a greenhouse in this room. I've got these lights on and they are so hot. So I literally feel like I'm going to pass out right now. Do it for the tube. Do it for the tube. Okay, so tip number one, makeup wise, get yourself a oil control or a mattifying spray. Um, and I would use this before and after um, applying my makeup. Um, so applying it before, um, it kind of goes into your pores and kind of clogs them up and stops them from producing any oils. Um, and then just do it again on top. Not only does it kind of make your makeup look better, it just does the same thing again, just make sure you're not going to be oily throughout the day. So that is my um, first little trick. And then my tip number two is to apply a powder, again similar to how we do the, um, the spray before and after, apply powder before and after. So if you get oily in your teasing, before you put your foundation on, put a small amount, and I mean a small amount, um, of powder. I recommend a loose powder rather than a pressed powder because it's more, it's, it's finer, um, which makes it smoother to go on um, for foundation afterwards, if you, know, if you know what I mean. So this is the Give Face Mattifying Powder. Um, so I recommend a loose one. So put like a small amount um, with like a brush. Let's have a look, what brush have we got? A brush like this, just a small one. And then just kind of stipple it into those areas that you get oily and then put your foundation on, on top. Um, and then again, set it with a powder on top again, just to be doubly sure. Um, so yeah, that is my tip number two. So tip number three, it's kind of an obvious one. Um, but it's using a matte foundation. Um, so this one is the Urban Decay All Nighter and this is quite a matte um, foundation and it's very, very long lasting. Um, I have the shade 3.0 and this is so good for oily skin. So yeah, I definitely recommend using a matte foundation and this one is so good. Okay, so tip number four. Um, it's more around skincare, so you really want to make sure that you're taking off your makeup every single day. You don't want to be sleeping in your makeup. This really does clog, it just clogs your pores and it doesn't do any good to your skin. To be fair, it doesn't do any good if you're dry skin, normal skin, combination skin, oily skin. But you just want to make sure that you are cleaning your face um, as much as you can um, without too much, you know. You're like People think with oily skin that you need to be washing it like four times a day whoa chill out no that's not the case the reason you will be oily if you are washing your face four times a day is because you're taking out all the natural oils from your skin and is thinking ah i've not got any left i need to make more do you know what i mean so you don't you don't have to over over wash your face but just make sure you're taking off your makeup every night before you go to bed it is crucial crucial <laughs> okay um Number five, I'm on number five. One, two, three. I can count. <laughs> number five um, is to use a oil balancing toner. Um, so I love the Body Shop products for skincare. Um, this one is the seaweed one um, and it's oil balancing toner. Um, so I would put this on before a moisturizer. It's really, really good. All right, gangster. Really, that's not helpful. It's not helpful. When the sun comes out, the D heads come out. <laughs> anyway, back to it. Making the video here. <laughs> so yeah, I do recommend this oil balancing toner. Um, I would probably use this um, once a day. Um, I only like to use it once a day um, before I go to bed, before I put my moisturizer on. And then when it comes to moisturiser, um, 
I quite like a water-based um, moisturiser. However, my tip number six is a facial oil. And you're gonna be thinking, oil for oily skin? Are you mad? Maybe. <laughs> Um, but oily skin really means that you're super, 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 super dehydrated and your skin is trying to make as much oil to compensate for it. Um, so I use a facial oil at bedtime every other day. Um, and this just soaks into my skin and it is so nice. This one is the Boots one. It comes with like a little dropper. Uh, and it's called the Time Delay Anti-Aging Wrinkle Reduce Facial Oil. And it's really, really nice. I probably use like four drops on my skin and then I massage it in all over and then I'll sleep on it. Um, and the next day, my skin feels so good. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend using a facial oil. Don't be scared of it. Um, it will definitely help. Definitely help. <laughs> okay, and then I think this is my last tip. Um, and it's to use a clay mask. Clay masks are so good for oily skin. Um, again, I love the, the body shops. This one is their Skin Clearing Clay Mask. Um, I also have the seaweed one, I think. Um, but this one's really, really nice. It's green. It's like really, really fresh smell as well. Um, I love the smell of tea tree stuff. So, yeah, clay masks are really, really good for oily skin. It kind of draws out any impurities and stuff. So it doesn't clog your pores and stuff like that. So it's really really helpful um so yeah i think that's all the tips that i have i hope it was helpful <laughs> um if you did enjoy this sort of video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and if anyone else has any other tips and tricks or recommendations please leave them down in the comment section below and i'll see you on my next video guys bye